If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best players at each position in Madden 21 right now, guys. I haven't done this video in what feels like almost a month at this point. It's like the first week of Madden. So, time to drop it for you guys. You guys have an updated understanding of what I think are the best players at each position that you want to be using right now. Obviously, it's going to be a bias to what I think and what I've used and kind of like what I know exactly. So, don't always think that I'm not going to be the best player, but I might not give you player you expect. I may not give you... You know what I'm saying? You guys get the point. But anyways, guys, let's hop into this. Go over to the auction block. You guys know how I like to run this. I go through positions. I kind of show you them, the price. And remember, I factor in price as well just a little bit when I go over this. Like, let's say there's a 300k cornerback and a 100k cornerback, and the 300k is the same same value as the 100k. I might say, like, oh, like, by the way, this guy. But for the most part, I keep it to the best players, although I do fa I factor more in price for the best players to get or whatever. But besides the point. If you're new to the channel, guys, and you want a chance to be shouted out the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is go down below, turn on that notification bell, like the video, and comment down below Poodle Squad, as you guys already should know. We recently just started that up, so make sure you are participating. I feel like it'd be really cool to be shouted out here in their videos. Now, for today's Poodle Squad member, it is Unfazed Clan. Shout out to you for showing support daily, guys. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, if you're new, subscribe, smash the like button. Now, let's head on over, guys, to the auction block right here. See what we're rocking with now. For the first one on the list, for me personally, it's tough. So for most people, I'm going to have to go with, of course, I'm going to have to go with Lamar. Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback for most people because he's a dual threat. He can do it all. He's got great abilities. Now, the only way I think Lamar is the best quarterback is if you have this Lamar, this version right here, and you keep him unpowered up. Once you power him up, you have to get the abilities, and that costs you a lot of training, guys. Like a ton, like 230k worth of training to power him up and keep him up all the way and get all his abilities. So I actually don't use him powered up because I'd rather just have the free stuff he comes with. Now... Mahomes, I can't put ahead of him just yet because Mahomes is like a similar throw power to this card. It's really not too crazy. And then Dan Marino. So pretty much if you're a pocket only passer, Dan Marino is your best bet if not Lamar. But Lamar is a dual threat. He's probably the best quarterback in the game for most people. Although I'm not the biggest fan of him anymore. But once I took him off his power up, I put his abilities back on. He, he was much better. So this game is very ability oriented, but, but we knew that. All right, now, so for best running back, guys, it's, it's a shield. It's Barry Sanders, guys. Now, I'm going to go over another one before because I know I won't can afford him. Now, Barry versus Bo. Barry blows him away. Blows him away. I've had both. I've used both. I thought Bo would be like a budgety version of him. No. no. Barry's way better. Just the, the agility and the change of direction and all the things that Barry can do once the ball's in his hands is not compared to Bo. Bo feels bulky. Now, I guess Bo would be the second one. Although, I'm not the guys I'm about to say, I don't really like Bo Jackson. I don't, but he's probably the best one besides uh, Barry. Now, if there was a close third for you guys, for all you guys who can't afford that either, um, Todd Gurley's decent. Ezekiel Elliott's decent. Work done. Like it's just it's a throw up between Aaron Foster, work done, Zeke, and Todd Gurley because they're also close in speed. It really comes down to whether or not you prefer the truck, for the juke. You pretty much decide that based on uh, your preferences. Now coming over to wide receiver. So wide receiver is it's a pretty simple it's pretty simple as per usual, guys. Now, for starters, I'm not a fan of a lot of the uh the good catching wide receivers right now and the good route running wide receivers because it's pretty simple. They all are slow. Now, you okay, so first off. Best wide receiver in Madden right now is Brandon Cooks. Now, he's LTD, so I'm not going to include him in the list. I'm just going to go over him real quick. Now, Tyreek Kill's on my list. So, remember, Tyreek Kill is one of the guys on my list. You need Tyreek Kill if you can't have a Brandon Cooks, of course. So, Brandon Cooks is up there, but Tyreek Kill is going to be one of my guys at wide receiver. Now, if you need guys that, you know, you obviously can afford, there's a decent amount of wide receivers here. Now, Mark Clayton is also on my list because Mark Clayton is still great. And then, let's see who else we got here. So, the issue with this part of the list, guys, is for the, the third guy, honestly... I'm not a fan of many other wide receivers besides Mark Clayton and Tyreek. If you know Mark Clayton's a theme diamond. So you guys go Mark Clayton on the Dolphins right here. Of course, you have to power him up and get him up all the way to his 90 overall team diamond card. But he's super great. And then, guys, it's it's pre, it's pretty surefire right now. It's, it's your Michael Finley. Now, Tony Gonzalez, I like as well. and he's, uh, he's But he's the same price. Now, your Michael Finley, of course, gets 83 speed. He gets all the route running thresholds, the catch and traffic threshold, the spec catch threshold. Once he's powered up, of course, you don't need to power him up for, the, for everything else, just a spec catch. So that looks pretty great. Now, the close second is going to be Tony Gonzalez, which you guys might think is better, but there's there's some reasoning behind why Tony Gonzalez is still not going to be the better raw tight end. And I'll show you guys right here. So first, I was a little more expensive. Second, he is very close, but does not get the medium route running threshold. Now, to get it, you're going to have to power him up, and then you're going to have to come him out with West Coast or Play Fake, I believe it is. So 
it just ends up becoming an extra hassle that your Michael Finley won't just have to endure. But they are very, very similar, guys. I mean, if you got either one, it wouldn't be the biggest concern, but that medium round running is pretty important. Now, I'm going to skip the old line like I usually do because, guys, the old line is super simple. Is run blocking pass, but there's no thought process. Run blocking pass blocking. Take the one that you need more. Take the one that's maybe a dual threat that can do both. It really just ups you on that aspect. But don't waste too much time. Just pick the ones that are the best. Either pick the best ones or take the ones that apply for you. Now coming at left end. The thing with left end, guys, there's really not that many great left ends right now. In my opinion, you want to be done uh, running dual ends, uh, dual right ends. So when I come to right end, what I've been rocking with here is going to be a combination of Miles Garrett and Aaron Donald. Now that's what I recommend you do because left end is kind of weak right now. And Yannick and Gakwe now. If you got the free Yannick and Gakwe, you can just use him for one of the end spots. But I've been rocking with a combination of Aaron Donald and Miles Garrett. They're, Miles Garrett you have to have because of all the abilities. He's like the best ever rusher right now. But then Aaron Donald as well. That's what I've been rocking with there. And then I also have Yannick and Gakwe. At defensive tackle, you can take the free Limbo Joseph from the solos. Or you can go ahead and play with Merlin Olsen, which I've been rocking with Merlin Olsen. Brian Young's good too, but again, I don't really use my defensive tackles too much. Uh, specifically in the scheme I run, so I haven't really had much of a preference with them. Probably better off putting like Aaron Donald defensive tackle or whatever else you want to put him there. And then left as a linebacker. So Bobby Bell is one of the highest rated, but he's actually not like a fan favorite here. TJ Watts, of course, is going to be the best one. Now the issue with TJ Watts is an LTD. So again, I will give you guys an honor another honorable mention. TJ Watt by far 93 finesse move is going to just be absolutely crazy. But again, there always is another option in case you cannot afford that. We're just gonna come right down here, and it's going to be I believe, where did he go? Elvis Dumerville. Elvis Dumerville powered up and chemmed up. We'll be able to get edge threat, which makes him super, super elite with that high finesse. But he's going to be like a baby TJ Watt. Uh, very close to it. Not bad at all. Now for middle linebacker. Okay, so middle linebacker is tough here. So personally, I don't like any of the best middle linebackers. But if you had to choose the best one, it will be Junior Seau. Now, very expensive right now. But Junior Seau is going to be the best middle linebacker here, as you guys see by his attributes. He's really good. He's great speed, great hit power, not, not great zone, good block shed. He's like a Ray Lewis kind of build. Like, he could just do everything in terms of playing on his own, besides the zone. Now, I just recommend you get Sam Mills up, and then you rock with the Devin Bush, the team of the week. Oh, not team of the week, Devin Bush. The superstar MVP of Devin Bush. That's what I rock with him, and I rock with uh, my Sam Mills as I get him up. That's just my personal loadout for that. Right outside linebacker. This guy isn't like a known guy for a lot of people. I feel like you guys, he's just like a newer guy to Madden for many people. But Adelius Thomas, same thing as Elvis Superville. You kept him up and you go ahead and you get him. You will get edge start on him once you get him up to his 90, I believe. And makes him super, super great. Has like the Terrell Suggs uh, style outside linebacker. Now cornerback. Cornerback has been a big point this year in terms of like, these cornerbacks play a lot better this year than I feel like they have in the past years. Like when you have Asante Samuel, like they literally ball out for you. So first off, Byron Jones. You got to have Byron Jones. He's super great. It's just some of the other stats he has that are crazy. So the speed's great, of course, agility, excel. But that 93 jumping is different in terms of getting flat picks or deep picks or throwing over his head picks. And then he also gets the zone uh, threshold. You power him up and get the um, ooh, lockdown chem on him. And he gets the press threshold. The man falls a little bit short, but that's fine. I feel like zone is very important to have in general for a lot of schemes. You can't run man all game anyways. And then next, the issue with the next cornerback is that he's super expensive despite his overall. And that's going to be a guy known as Asante Samuel. Asante Samuel is super glitchy, super meta in terms of how well he plays. Kept up, powered up, he will get the 90 th zone threshold, he will get the speed threshold. He's pretty much just Byron Jones with less press, essentially, right? But of course, you can run pretty much two Byron Jones in the same field because he's exactly identical. And then for the third cornerback spot, guys, that's pretty much just a throw up. Uh, Rob Woodson, of course, is up there if you want him. So you can power him up as well and get him for an 89 speed. Now, he's going to be like a mixture of like everything. So 89 speed will get the man threshold more than likely and the play rec threshold will fall short of the zone and the press so again i don't know if that fits into your scheme but again rob woodson's super great takes it right now guys we're rocking with steve atwater still um in terms of him do i really like him i don't think he's the greatest guy for free safety but he is our best option right now 86 speed 87 to 8 excel 88 tackle 88 play rec 89 pursuit 86 zone and 89 hit power so kem to power up against the 90 uh hit power he has a high zone but will not hit the threshold so he's not a he's not a threshold uh zone guy he's a bit on the slower side and the hit power is great i mean He's good at what he does for the most part. Now, strong safety is where I really, really like some players. I like two guys. I'm going to give you guys two. And I actually think you recommend buying both of them. First, I recommend you, you, recommend you buy your Tyron Matthew. Now, here's the thing with Tyron Matthew. Kemmed up and powered up. He does get the zone and man coverage threshold, which means you can put him at cornerback. So, what I like about Tyron Matthews, you can play all over the field. I play him at, Nick, I play him at corner, nickel corner. I play him in the box. I play him literally everywhere I need to play him on. I play him at safety. So he's, he's like a hybrid. He can literally do anything, which is why I like him. So he's just versatile to have in your defense. And then for the next guy, which is something that you need, absolutely need to have is Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons is the best defensive card in Madden right now. Guys, 
he's able to literally cover the entire length of the field with that speed have great zone have great excel and great hit power i just run around my user six foot four picking things off laying the boom forcing fumbles guys he's super great but guys that pretty much wraps up for the video that's every position i'll get kicker same thing like i said with lineman just pick the best kick power or best kick accuracy whichever you care more for but guys better for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're into the channel hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell boys if you want to join the pool uh, squad all you got to do is like the video turn the noti bell and comment down below pool squad better for the video enjoy the rest of your day and then, peace.